Hey, welcome ladies and gentlemen, coin collectors of all ages. Uh, Sean with Blue Ridge Silverhound, and today we have a fun topic, okay? Probably more of a refresher for a lot of you who are kind of avid variety hunters uh, of different coins, okay? This one coin that you see on screen, make no exception about it, has been probably one of the most critically acclaimed coins to ever get released here in the last 10 years. All right, um, and not so much because of the design or anything like that, but the just the possibilities of finding some really cool and valuable errors and double dies is a real thing for the 2015 Homestead quarters. So primarily for this video, I wanted to focus more on the Philadelphia minted coins. Now, a lot of you that have the benefit of finding these coins east of the Mississippi, so for you guys there on the East Coast or in the Midwest, we'll find that these coins have a lot to offer, all right? And it's a great way that, you know, you find one or two or three or ten in a box of quarters, you could effectively make some really good money by finding these particular types of varieties and nuances and errors of things of that nature. So, Yes, the subject coin for this video is the 2015 P Homestead Quarter. Of course, you're going to know it's a Philadelphia minted coin because it has that wonderful letter P under the motto on the side with George Washington. All right, so in God we trust is the motto. You see the P for Philadelphia. You know you have a Philadelphia minted Homestead National Park Quarter. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the design, okay? Uh, the design, you know, it's it, it's not the most glamorous shot of, you know, art that you could find on a coin, let alone any one of the America the Beautiful Quarter program. But this one right here, because of its simplicity, um, was kind of like a breeding ground for a lot of the things that we're going to talk about today, okay? It's, it's really going to excite you, especially if you're new to searching through your quarters, okay? Might you have one of these? The mintage, okay? The U.S. Mint produced a ton of these quarters. 214,400,000 to be exact. These are plentiful. I live here on the West Coast, and I still find Philadelphia minted homestead quarters. I've even found a handful of some of those double die reverses and some of the errors that I'm going to highlight on this video. So um, the main focal point of this coin, okay, that you're gonna take a close pay attention to is gonna be on the reverse with the actual homestead design. Um, right, you, you know, if you take a look at this coin, um, you know, you're gonna see a green circle right in the middle. That's gonna be your sweet spot for what is going to be some of the more valuable coins of this particular date but also pay attention to all the little red arrows okay these are going to be some of the other hit point areas regarding the errors all right this coin offers a great deal okay so we're going to start off with uh those hit points the the red arrows so to speak and this is where you're going to find a myriad of various die breaks die chips um you know, it's it's a pretty amazing thing when you see these uh, come out of change. You know, you just flip the coin over and you can see them with the naked eye. Um, there's going to be a, a number of die breaks, especially on the roof of that building right there, which is going to reminisce, uh, be reminiscent of snow. Um, but that's the cool thing about this coin is people like to collect and purchase these die break type errors based off of the fact that it looks like snow, like a wintertime edition of the Homestead design. All right, so keep an eye, on, eye, eye out on that. And you're also going to find early dive states where you begin to see a little bit of cracking and all that stuff to some of the later dive states where you have a lot of die breaks, you know, a bunch of snow on the roof, so to speak. In addition, you're also going to go ahead and pay attention to underneath the bucket, all right, so what you see here is what they call the dripping bucket, uh, early die state. So this is going to be the earliest form of any sort of stress to the die that's going to transfer onto the coin. You're going to see a few lines that looks like the bucket is truly dripping of water. All right, and then as we get to the later die state, state examples, 
you're going to see a big old huge die chip form underneath that bucket. Okay, the, it's actually going to attach the bottom of the bucket to the actual base of that water pump. So keep an eye out for the early die state and later die state. If you're able to find a number of each, all right, that's going to be a really cool feature uh, where you get to see the progression of these die breaks. In addition, I had some arrows pointing to the actual corn stalks. Okay, there's going to be a you know a bunch of uh, what I call quote unquote minor die breaks in this area. Okay, they're going to show up in conjunction with either the snow on the roof die breaks or maybe even the drippy bucket uh, die state um, die breaks. Uh, so keep an eye out for those two. They're not they're not going to be worth as much. If there's just die breaks on the corn, um, as opposed to the snow on the roof die breaks or the bottom of the bucket huge die chunk. So we have those particular errors that you're going to keep an eye out for, okay? Um, I will recap how much you could expect to sell these coins for. Um, now, you're not going to get rich, but if you're able to make some money off of them, uh, especially if, you, if you've found maybe four or five of them, that's going to be your ticket right there. So let's go ahead and jump into what is the most important part of the video. It's going to be those doubled dies that you can find on this coin. So if you guys are not aware, there are well in excess of 120 doubled die reverse types for the 2015P Homestead Quarter. Okay, keep that in mind. There, there is plenty to look at. Uh, again, I'm here on the West Coast. We seldom see the Philadelphia minted homesteads, but when I do come across them, about two out of every three coins that I have found are double die reverses. Okay, and they go into different, you know, extremes and all that. So there's going to be the marquee, most sought after double die reverse, and that's going to be DDR004. Um, is how it's cataloged by Wexler. Okay, so that's the coin that you see here. This one is going to exhibit uh, a double pump handle that you see in the window pane. Okay, this one is pretty dramatic, and um, this is the one that is most sought after in low grades and high grades. This is the one right here that got the whole collecting um, scene by storm when this coin released back in 2015. Make sure you look for this coin along with all of the other um, double die reverse coins that I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to talk about all 120 plus coins, but I'm going to hit on a few of the minor ones, you know, one that has a little bit more dramatic nature to it. For example, we've seen the 004 that you see here. Here's another variant type right here without getting way too close to it. And this one right here exhibits a doubled window pane. Okay, so you see that top line where I have the red arrows. And then you also have a vertical line. So it's offset by a great deal. Um, but you're probably going to ask yourself, why aren't the other window panes of this particular window doubled either? Well, technology is different when it comes to manufacturing these modern coins. The U.S. Mint employs uh, not only laser engraving, but they also use a different press that uh, that um, uh, exhibits a single squeeze process where the coin is squeezed and then there's a slight rotation to it. And um, that's kind of how you get some of the just like, you know, doubling effects that only affect one thing and not something that's nearby, like another window pane or maybe a pump handle doubling or something like that. So it's the same as the 2009 uh, formative years Lincoln Sense in which you see a double thumb. Well, how come some of the other fingers weren't double? Same premise, because it was still a single squeeze uh, press type of uh, machinery that's being used. So the doubling is a little bit different these days than they used to be 20 plus years ago, um, you know, in comparison. So we have this coin here, okay, which has clear doubling on one set of panes, and it's going to affect two sides. The next one that I wanted to talk about is going to be uh, kind of like the, the similar to the coin that you just saw, only this time, this one is going to exhibit kind of a rotated doubling, okay? So that's why it looks um, diagonal on there, okay? So you're going to see the, the bottom pane 
slightly rotated and doubled and then the uh the right pane the right piece of that glass right there rotated and doubled as well pretty dramatic effect again if you have a good magnifier that's like eight times power or higher that's going to be your best bet to identifying these coins so this is another great uh kind of like minor type of double die reverse but they're all equally important so the last one we're going to get into uh, is going to be a minor type of doubling. Of course, if you look at this one right here, you're going to see a uh, just a single pane line that's been doubled. Okay, it's over there on the left-hand side as evidenced by these red arrows. Keep an eye out for these, all right? The, even the ones with the single-sided doubling on those paints are um, just as important as some of the other ones okay again there's over 120 different double die reverses and you could find out more if you go on varietyvista.com that's wexler's website he's got them all attributed with photo images for your reference um, it's a fantastic website okay so those are a few examples of some of the doubling that you could find for this coin. Now let's go ahead and talk about what you guys are waiting for, and that's value. How much are these coins going for in the marketplace? Well, the errors with the uh, the die breaks and things like that are neat oddities, but they're not rare. Okay, you still find them out there, and typically these will sell depending on how extreme the die breaks are. Let's say if you found an example with some of the snow on the roof die breaks along with the bottom of the bucket die break. If you have like both of those in conjunction, you have a coin that's worth between five and $10. They're a neat oddity, okay? And then I foresee these coins going up in value and you're gonna see why here in a second when I go into further kind of explanation. So, uh, you know, they, the overall value for some of these die break errors can be anywhere from a buck up to 10 maybe $15. It really depends on the grade of the coin. All right, so that's not bad. Okay, that's a good way to make a few bucks here and there as you're roll hunting uh, through quarters, you know, for various other reasons, whether you're a silver searcher or whatever. So some of the double dies are worth a lot of money. Okay, that 004 that I talked about at the beginning of the video can be sold for between 20 and $30. You can go and grade that particular coin through a third-party grader like Annex, all right? Seeing as how this variety hasn't been um, um, granted any sort of special, you know, anointment, I guess, of being a, a big-time double die, and usually it would be in the Cherry Picker's Guide or the Red Book, until that time happens, okay, people are going to see these coins as kind of like a minor double die, but that's okay. They're still worth money. Now, if you find like a coin that looks in really great shape, you send it off to Annex, you know, they uh, tag it with DDR004, you know, you have a coin that probably is worth about $50 to $100. That's cool. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of value, especially in that um, that well sought after die pairing number four of that double die. Now the the minor ones are worth anywhere from a dollar to ten dollars, okay, depending on you know the type and all that. But they all have some sort of value, all right. And grade plays a huge factor, a determining factor in what someone is willing to pay for these coins. But keep in mind the reason why I believe these things are going to go up in value is just go hop on eBay. Check out how many actual listings there still are of double die reverse coins or some of those die breaks. They're dwindling by the day, okay? As more and more quarters begin to filter on through and we're coming up toward the end of the last year of the America the Beautiful quarter series, you're going to see some of these older ATB quarters disappear. All right, so... Um, that's that. Now, where do you find these? Well, bank rolls. Go ahead and pick some up from the bank. Of course, your best shot is going to be sourcing some unopened Virgin 2015P Homestead Quarter Rolls. As you can see, here's an NF String and Sun um, uh, type of roll wrapper paper that was released during that time of... Um, trying to think <laughs> during the release of the coin back in 2015 so the uh um the um armor car companies that were rolling these had paper roll wrappers that were printed specifically to uh illustrate full bu rolls of a certain date 
Okay, so that's going to be your best bet. You're, they're not going to be cheap. You're going to be spending about twenty dollars a roll on average for a BU roll of two thousand fifteen peas. But you never know what you're going to find in it. That's the cool part. But you know, it's a great fun date in the America the Beautiful Quarter series. I encourage you guys to go ahead and keep an eye out for these coins because, you know, you, especially if you're on the East Coast, you're going to come across a lot of these in your rolls. And uh, generally, about 33% of the time, you're going to find a doubled die. Okay, that's how common they are. But keep in mind, you have coins that are effectively worth a few dollars all the way up to 20 25 $30. Okay, so on average, 5 to $10 a piece um, it's a lot of fun and it's a great way to make a few bucks so I want to thank you guys for joining in on this video I'm your host Sean with Blue Ridge Silverhound don't forget like share subscribe okay uh, help help me out with the uh, algorithms a great deal love you guys as again as coinaholics we're all discovering together appreciate your time you guys have a wonderful day you keep hunting and keep searching